Well, we'll have a little bit of technical difficulties with the sound system. Now, usually, I'll put a bit of music on, get everyone clapping and cheering before the sea lions come out. But it's not working, because let's crack on it, baby. Let's definitely clap the sea lions come out. Of 
you can't have it. Come on, see why you choose the whiskers to feel the different movements and to feel the different vibrations that are made underneath the water. Yeah. Now, by doing that, of these guys to pinpoint exactly where their food is. Sea lions, they fish and squid for a living, and when fish and squid swim, they create different vibrations in the water using the tails that the sea lions can pick up on with their whiskers. In fact, the sea lion already knows what type of fish, how big it is, and how many there is, without even being able to see it first, just by picking up those vibrations with their whiskers. So those whiskers, they are a really important lifeline for the sea lions out in the wild. So you give them a big round of applause and then just start having to see that's the job I've got to do. For instance, if Arthur ever needed to, he could jump over things. He 
We can stand on his back flippers as well, so we can climb and try to reach up by the things. There's a good lad. These guys can run at speeds of about 10 miles an hour, and sea lions can roll themselves over too. That's a good couple of them. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you is sea lions on dry land, they are fast and they are mobile creatures. Now seals, on the other hand, they move in a completely different way, don't they, Arthur? Right, so I've come down then. Can you show everybody how does a seal move? There you go, this is what a seal looks like. <laughs> so, you saw the jig all along on the bellies like this, and they've got a little bit of a giant caterpillar or a slug. But because seals have those tiny front flippers, and because they're stuck like this, it means that seals can't use them for walking, for climbing, or for swimming. So sea lions will always be much more mobile if you ever get to see them on the beaches. Now I think Roger wants to show you his seal impression too. So Roger, let's see your seal impression then. That's it, all the way to the end. Yeah, give them both a big round of applause for your seal impression. Sea lions, they need to have good eyesight, but they also need to be good to judge of distance and speed as well. Now so obviously here at Lowesley, we give these guys their food. Today they've got a mixture, they've got mackerel and sprouts. But to show you guys how good they are at catching things, I'm going to throw these five rings to Roger. Let's see how many he can catch over his head. Right Roger, you've got to concentrate on this pretty many. Here we go, there's number one. That's it too. Three, four. Now they were all fairly easy, so I'm going to split this last one. It makes it faster and a lot harder for Roger to catch. So if he does get him, give a big round of applause for me. Ready, Roger? Check him on. Here it comes. Oh! on the beach. You'd have to swim after them instead. So this time what we'll do, we'll send Roger off into the water. Let's see how many rings he can catch when he has to swim after them instead. So Roger, you head off into the air. And when you're ready to, you go now, because your first one goes all the way. Take out the two, three, four. And there is the number five. Big round of the wall. Let's see that much. So there is another thing that seals and sea lions have in common, but this time it's a lot more dangerous because it's their enemies. California sea lions like these two, they have two main enemies. The first one is the killer whale, or the orca, as it should be called. The second one, I'm not going to tell you, because Arthur, whenever he's gone, has a brilliant impression of that instead. So Arthur, when you're ready, show everybody what's your deadliest enemy. <laughs> yeah, he's got his yeah. sharks. <laughs> so, the tiger shark, the bull shark, the hammerhead shark, and the great whites. All things sea lions make a lovely meal. To the minute that these guys yeah. think an enemy is anywhere in the area, the first thing that they'll do is they'll swim back to the beach really nice and safe. Give up for a big round of applause for the Well, we're all unfortunately we're quite close towards the end of this afternoon's display. But before we go, we'll get these two to finish things off with their favourite thing. Now this is where they both get the chance to do a little bit more showing off by leaping out of the water to try and touch that pink ball that's all the way up there and if it's too high where it is, you've got to lower it down. Because Roger's going to go first in this one and Roger isn't too bad at this. Look, the look, at the ball, Jordan, look at the ball, Jordan, look at the ball. 
Have a round, ah. bounce. You try there, Roger. They're going to punch yeah. the board. Now, oh, Roger, he's a bit of a day, Dad. Because he likes to start his high ball attempt from on top of the tower. Okay, he's going to catch the ball. So when a second off can happen, Roger's going to go across and he'll climb the stairs in the platform you can see at the very top. Once he gets to the top, he'll dive off into the wall, then swim across and then try and hit the pink ball with his nose. And if he does manage to hit him, please do give him a big round of applause because he's been a very good boy in this display. And it's going to take him quite a lot of effort this jump. Right then, Roger, you head over to the tower. Now, do you remember earlier yeah? when I was telling you how mobile sea lions are? Oh, look. Just watch how quickly Roger climbs these stairs. Oh, he's climbing! He's climbing! He's climbing! He's We'll jump, we'll so jump again. So if you can't support us by buying a poster, it is really, really appreciated. Thank you in advance. Ooh. We haven't finished yet. It is Arthur's turn. Now Arthur, he is really into this. Oh, look, look, he's going to jump. To be fair, you don't take this too much higher. He's you only take this to around about... Well, there are. Yeah? Okay. But here's the thing. Arthur doesn't start his high ball attempt from on top of the tower. He starts from where he is now. He's bigger, he's heavier, and he's got a lot higher to jump. So this just shows you guys the amount of power Arthur has in his big old front flippers to push all 21 stone of it up out of the water to try and touch that big ball. Now this is the part of the display where I need to warn you guys the front ball along here. Because that's a bigger sea lion, that's a bigger jump, bigger splash. Now this time, if Arthur manages to hit him, you guys have got to give him a great big cheer. Okay, that means all the mums and dads, nans and granddads and all the kids, you've all got to join in because this takes the most effort of all. Now we always give Arthur to the count of three, so the more people who join in, the louder that we're doing, the better Arthur does. So we're Shout one, two, three, and then shall go. But you've all got to be as loud as you can, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, Now just stay in your seats, stay in your seats for two more minutes, I've got a couple... 